Welcome to my future here. No, no. So we're picking up again. Uh, so I thought I was further in this game than I really was, but when I uh, looked up like a walkthrough um, for a, an area that I couldn't get through, which was probably something I just recently uploaded. Um, I mean, I'm only about halfway, <laughs> which is which is way further back than I thought it was. So I'll see you for this right now. At least Halo Reach was a little bit uh, uh, shorter than this one, and actually meant for casuals such as myself. I, uh, I'll admit it. I'm a casual. I'm a casual. Look at that impending doom. Holy fuck me. Fuck me, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Who gave him a gun? Oh, God, he got back up again. Oh, God, he's coming back again. He's so bulgy. Uh, I'm running out of ammo on it, so I'm gonna switch over. Alright, so... What you missed? Um, I don't think I... I, I didn't take any video footage about it but um, what happened is I just complained a ton about how they didn't explain the background or anything of like guilty spark or what the hell I'm doing here on the stupid ring or what the hell it is and then they did it in a cutscene that I was just in but I didn't record so just trust me it happened it existed and he just said something to me. I didn't even read it. I'll have to read that in post. Um, but I really have to pay attention to that freaking map. Mini-map. They're just skittering all over the place here. Long story short, it didn't explain it still as well as I'd like it to. Because I can say what I want. Because I'm an asshole. But, I mean, they did. To an extent. And what I've noticed is that they've got these cool little markers all over the god dang place. For little noobs like me to tell me where to go. Ah! Shit. My keyboard. Shit! I hit my keyboard and I hit the frag button. Oh gosh. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like this part. I don't like this part either. I don't like you either. Okay. That was a very convoluted way of taking care of these enemies, I know. I just... I was talking at the same time, so give me a brick. You know, you ever seen that Sum 40, or listen to that Sum 41 song? Um, um, where... Um... Shit, what's this song called? It's like... Something, 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 something. So maybe that it's time we took a brick. It's cause I'm into deep. And it's it's actually not brick, it's break, but it sounds like it says brick. I don't care. I don't care. I'll say brick if I want it or not. I got spliced with a slitter. Now this is the part I remember, and he got up again. I don't like this guy very much. He keeps chasing after me. Even though I like to like hug him, he doesn't hug me as much. Do they just keep coming? I think this is the part where they just keep on coming. So even if I beat these guys, I don't think I can. So I'm gonna try to just truck through. I'm gonna waste all my ammo if I don't. Yeah, okay, so they just keep on coming. So remember what I was saying about those arrows? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that up. Yeah. Well, I ate Miak and died there. Alright, so, follow the arrows, take the new brute. <laughs> uh, I didn't listen to myself. Yeah, you can hit me all you want, I don't care. I'm through letting this bother me. Just die already. Boing! Boing! They can explode all they want. Not my job, see? The more I'm looking, the more they're just like ready to explode all over me. The only way to conceal the flood threat. If I remember this correctly, yeah, he's saying like basically 
you activate this thing. It's not a weapon, it just blows up everything on the freaking ring and it starts all over again. It's the same concept as in Mass Effect. Basically, you have to you have to destroy everything to start all over again. A destruction is a form of creation. So the fact that they burn the money is ironic. Donnie Darko, 1999. I don't know, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, though. That's the exact same concept that they're, they're trying to preach in this freaking... What happened? What happened to my... What happened to my mouse? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm stuck. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but, uh... I, 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 it's like something else took over my keyboard. S temporarily. Yeah, baby. Made him explode. Um... And I couldn't move. I don't know if like some application in the background kind of process took over. Uh, do I get a oh 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 oh? That little guy tries. He's my friend. I was talking about earlier about that spider that scared the shit out of me. Big googly eyes, and I always said my friend. Those things actually looked a lot like what it looked like. Those little squid-like things. And here's another thing too. What I was saying earlier. Um, I was talking about earlier about how uh. I was looking at, a, looking at a walkthrough, right? And I wanted to get through this part, and then I was looking at this thing, uh, what, what the walkthrough guy was playing, and I'm like, wait, this doesn't this doesn't look like what I'm playing. It looks a little bit different. And it, it was because he was playing the original about the CE, even though he, la he labeled it as, you know, uh, Combat Evolved, like, Anniversary Edition. It wasn't. Ah, uh, yes. I got myself those little... So I remember at one point, so the, like, the stupid um, uh, flatulent spark says something about how He's like, well, this was the only way to do this. Uh, you, you didn't realize, like, you know, you're, you're activating a giant ring to, to kill people, right? And it's like, oh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. You know, like, he has that, like, you know, conflict in his mind for some reason that it's a conflict that you don't want to destroy all the rings and shit. I still don't know where the rings came to. Or, I just want to know where they showed up, who constructed them, why they're there, what happened. What is this? Hi, sticky bomb. Give me a brick. Maybe time as we took a brick. There's one thing for sure there than waiting for me then. I don't know. Cause I'm in too deep to the flood. I'll keep, I'll keep halo rings here. Instead of blowing up, it's the hint too deep and halo creeps in my face all day. But they're blowing up. I didn't like that part very much. Ooh, yay. Die. Die, Fox Forte. Isn't that the line? I don't know what the line is, and, um. World is not enough. Uh, have you guys seen that movie? It's weird. It's the Double Seven movie. Uh, the world's not enough, right? Um. There's a part, and I know it's a very significant part in the movie. Um, it's where that chick uh, thinks she's like the hottest thing since wrestling. She's like in the bedroom with James and she says something like, she's about to like, you know, call a nuclear sub to dive to go and blow itself up. And James is trying to stop her. He's like, call it off. Call it off. And she has the power to do so, but she decides not to. Oh, okay. I didn't see them behind me. My bad. Um, she has the power to do so, but she just kind of stops and she goes, you can't kill me. You've had sex with me. And that's pretty much what she's trying to insinuate. And he gives this look like, no, call it off. I mean it. And she just goes, she says something along the lines of like, die, fox forte. And I'm like, what? And then he shoots her right in the head. And then in the traditional James fashion. Because yes, he does sleep with a gun under his pillow. I think what I'm going to do when this session is up, I'm going to actually replace the battery in my headphones because they keep on crackling out because um, just because um, I'm talking a little bit loud and they crackle when it happens because they're Bose headphones. Yeah, I'm a baller. So what? Ah, look at him. He did a kip up. Look at that guy do a kip up. He did a kip up into the sky and died. All right, let's find out where the okay. There's the noob arrows. <clears throat> Got it. Cap him. Cap him. You fucking it up. I think I brought that one up before too. My buddy Eric, he has this problem, or had this problem, when I used to play video games around him. Uh, when we lived together, he just, he'd just he have this habit where he'd, he'd be watching someone, 
and they're not doing so well, like me, and he'd be shooting from the sidelines, sidelines going like, hey, cap him, man, cap him. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? And if you didn't get them all, he'd be like, you're fucking it up. Like, it's so easy to say that from the sidelines, you know? I mean, and I say this now. Ugh. Oh, God! Thank God I got enough air. Look, I got air. My car got air. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, that was funny, too, actually. Oh, shit, I gotta keep going. These things keep coming. I forgot about that. This is Nintendo old school. Okay, so, um, what I was talking about when I said, that's a different. Hopefully I got a checkpoint there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, yes. I do. Yes. They like me. They wanna give me a hug. Okay. Two dodgers to release and mess. <laughs> Did he shoot my grenade in the air? I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. Be my friend! I tried going balls out. This this strat isn't working. Okay, I still haven't read his entire thing that he's been saying. Um. Okay, so natural the flood. Boing doing. The decision. What? I don't get what he's saying there. Okay, I was trying to understand what he was saying, but I, I gave up on that. So, um, when I got a jump in the air and I said, my car got air, what that was is a reference to this dumb bitch that I knew, okay, <clears throat> this lovely young upstart of a woman that I knew back in the day, who, I didn't date her or anything like that, but, um, I think her friends were trying to hook me up with her. Anyway, I went to this car, I get in this car with her because she wanted, she had this idea Oh shit, and my phone was vibrating, it scared the crap out of me. Anyway, um, I go out on this, like, pseudo date, because everyone knows that there's no such thing as dates when you're, like, between the ages of, like, you know, 17 to, like, you know, 29, because no one does shit, they just hang out. They go to Walmart and they, like, play in the, in the Walmart aisles. Anyway, I'm in this car, it's in this SUV of this girl, I forget her name, but she had a very um, angry personality. Uh, I didn't approve in any way, shape, or form. However, we get in this car. My friend Ryan was dating her friend. So we, you know, me, her, her, and her. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Two gals and two guys. Me and him and them, too. We get in a car and we're bombing down the street in Sinclair Shores because my friend Ryan, let's just be honest, he, he didn't know how to actually keep a girl's attention. I f it wasn't until I realized later that he kind of invited me along on his quote unquote dates be just because he, I was able to capture a girl's attention, keep things entertaining and he, you know, like she, she'd go home with him because, you know, he was the cute, you know, emo dude that was cool and smooth. Now, I was neither of those two, but I knew how to, you know, make people laugh, and so I was, I was used. I mean, it took me a long time to realize that, and it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I don't, you know, regret it. I kind of signed up for it. You know, that's my personality, and I met some cool, you know, chicks because of it. Here's the, it's another thing that, um, uh, under, that one, uh, show got right, uh, what was it called, Undeclared. So, the, the, the lesson is this, if you have a friend who is like the ladies man, he has that look, he's good looking, you just, you can, if you are a funny guy, you can attach to his underbelly, like a parasite, and basically wait until, you know, he finds a girl that he's not, he likes, but he's not really not interested in, you know, when he finds someone else, and so what happens is, you, he bequeaths his overflow to you, so he can't have all the girls that want him at all times, but what he can do is say, hey, guess what, I know, I don't like you know, Sarah this week, so you can have her, and then, 
if I choose to go back to her, you have to give her up or whatever. So that's kind of like what would happen with Ryan. And, you know, it didn't, no, it actually didn't happen. But, I mean, I, you know, there was girls that were around his girls that he dated. And I, you know, get a chance at that. So, long story short, good times. But, um, they were trying to bequeath me this overflow, which I didn't want. It was bad overflow. This was, like, poisonous. And this girl was driving down the street, bombing in St. Clair Shores. She's just like, yeah, like, let's go down the street. I heard there's a jump down here. And I didn't know what she meant. I'm like, huh? So, she goes down the street. Oh, God, they body slammed me. I got far enough, at least. Talking shit out of my butt. He just wants to see them reproduce. How cute. Anyway, so we're in this car bombing down the street. She finds a jump in the road, hits the gas, floors it, and she gets a little bit of air. But, you know, you know how fucking dangerous that shit is? I'm an adult. All right, I don't want to die. Anyway. <clears throat> I hit him. You saw that, right? All right. And she jump, goes off this jump on, in St. Clair Shores where they totally royally fuck you up. And she just kind of laughs it off and goes, Hey guys, my car got air! And I'm like, holy shit, no, no, that was terrible. And she's just like, what? What's the problem? I'm like, what's twisting this bitch's tit? Got that from Jane and Silent Bob, 2000. Represent. And, um... Oh my god, she just starts screaming at me, and she's just like, SHUT UP! SHUT UP! Um, that story was not as funny as I thought it was in my head. Can we just strike that from the record? Where are you at? Hey, Corn Pop? Where are you at, Corn Pop? Dude, Corn Pop, where are you at? Oh, freaking A. Stop it. Got him. Cap him. I got backed into a corner, and I don't like that part very much. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. What am I looking at? 17 minutes? That's a good, nice little snack. So what is he opening? Where is he at? <clears throat> I hear him. I hear his stupid voice. I totally missed that thing. I'm just going to stay still. <clears throat> Yikes. These guys are pissed. I gotta get my shield back. Actually, I'm doing better but when I was just standing still. I zipped around the corner. Did you see that? I no-scoped him. Oh, am I supposed to go? No, there's nothing here. Okay. I'm doing better than I was before and I wasn't doing anything. Okay, I have to keep on checking and see my text messages if I'm being too loud for my wife. But, alas, I still live on. My pool stands strong. Oh, shit. Get out of there. Jumping over him. That's right. Mm, man shit. That's right. Um, okay, I'm following the fucking air. Oh, there we go. Hey, my buddies are back with the sunspots. Sunlight! Alright, follow the new barrows. Well, I mean, is this almost over yet? Because I'm, like, 20 minutes, I'm supposed to freaking be done with this. That's how long I decided that I want my, my sessions to be. And if it's not convenient for me, then I'm going to complain. It's called cancel culture. Get rid of Halo. They don't have 20-minute snack breaks. Hey! Speaking of snacks, hey, how you doing? You guys taste like shit. <laughs> Oh my god, so there was an episode, uh, not an episode, there was just a story I wrote back in the day, 
And uh, it was about my friend CJ. It was funny. I don't. I just went on this tangent. CJ was probably the coolest motherfucker I ever met in my entire life. Of all the motherfuckers, he was the coolest motherfucker. And I, I just started writing this story about uh, him trying to pick up a girl. <laughs> Him, him trying to pick up a girl at the club, right? But um, what it started off was, you know, he goes to the club. He's, you know, and I, and I, I use very stupid English, you know, words such as, like, jiggling around with women and dancing on the dance floor with, uh, with a look of masturbation of something. I don't know. But he meets this girl on the dance floor. And, uh... He meet like I forget how what what is this like? He's on the dance floor, and in the story I mentioned that he just cracked off a huge fart on the dance floor, and just as he did that, like this girl comes up behind him and says, "Hey boy, I like that cologne you're wearing," <laughs> and, and he just kind of like he just kind of like goes like you know what'd you say, bitch? And <laughs> she's just like. And he's just like, are you a bitch? And she's like, yeah, that's right, I'm a bitch. And so he refers to her as bitch in the story, you know, for the rest of the time. Um, long story short, um, I, when I keep ahead a few in the story, I'd have to find the story and, and actually, like, I'd read it out loud. It'd be really funny, but um, he, he escapes, like, a, a murderer, and he goes to a subway station where this guy attacks him, and, he, you know, he, he fights back, and he, like, fights back by, like, you know, tearing this guy's arms right off, and he takes a big old bite out of him, and he says something like, that's right, bitch, you taste just like a chicken. And, I mean, I remember thinking that I thought I was, like, the most clever, funniest motherfucker on the planet when I wrote that line. You know, it's like, ah, it's funny, it's alliteration, it's, you know... He's calling him chicken, but he tastes like chicken, and, you know, of course, nothing ever comes of it, because I'm not a published author. You know, it could be. It happens one of these days, I don't know. Um, I'm at a loss as to where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. See that? I tricked myself into going in around the corner. Noob corners. There we go. At least I got my shield back. That's right, biatch. <sighs> Oh my god, 22 minutes? I gotta really wrap this up. So, I'm gonna, like, get to the next checkpoint, which I just did, shit. Can I... I've been doing pretty good for just talking while I'm doing this. I mean, this is normal mode. Which is the way you're supposed to play it. And hopefully no one will judge me for that. I don't know what he's talking about. What vessel is he talking about? Ass hat. Oh, jeez. I'm supposed to go back? Okay. Oh, jeez. There's a thousand of them. Well, I can't quit now. If I quit right now, they'll call me a quitter. Okay. So, moving down the line. Oh, I should probably reload. And I gotta say, even if you are a speed reloader, this is like the fastest way you could ever reload a shotgun. Holy shit. You didn't mess up once. Not once. Oh, jeez. I hate these things. It's all about freaking ammo maintenance at this point. Holy fudge. Holy fudge. I blew myself up. Alright. I gotta find a new strat. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, go for the double boy. Go for the double boy. Go for the double boy. Break and bake right here. All right. Okay, so flip around. This guy's going to come around and kick my ass. There we go. Fill it up. Fill it up. Okay, so I got to get out of here. Keep going. Holy fudge. I'm just like going to... Holy fuck, how am I supposed to get through there? Am I supposed to actually, like, take these guys down? I mean, that's a ton of people. 
Oh, this is totally like a, you know, what are you doing, man? Cap him moment. Okay. I wonder if I can just keep going down this lane here. Okay. Repairing my vessel. Is that like, is that like a metaphor, like my body? Because sometimes they refer to your body as a vessel. I mean, technically my armor is a vessel, right? God dang it. These guys, I don't like them very much. Holy shit. Holy shit, did I survive? I lasted. I don't have much shotgun ammo, but I lasted. Hell yeah. That's right. Those who fight and run away live to fight and run away. I'm gonna go towards this light like a bug. I'm assuming this is the place where I'm supposed to go, because it looks like a place where a bug would go. Smack. Yay! Here's a light! Oh, and just like that, it's exactly where I'm supposed to go. Why do you know this? Did you build this, Guilty? Mr. Guilty, are you aware that this, this whole facility is being powered by dilithium crystals? These are toxic to the environment of the rings. Think about the ozone layer. <sighs> Smash TNT. Oh. It looks like the plutonium from... Okay. What the hell? The hell's the index anyway? See, another thing that... The, the, I don't remember what the fuck the index is. <laughs> it sounds like it's exactly what he wanted to do. Where did the flood come from, too? That's another thing. Okay, yeah. It, yes, I know they explained that someone before them created the rings. I forget what they called them. The architects? I think it was called the architects. But uh, give me the story of the architects. What the fuck are they? He almost took his arm off. Something amiss, sir. First, I'm too busy to... Like, first, I'm too busy to hang out with me. Oh, wait, how's the line go? Oh, shut the hell up. You box with a light on it. Shut the fuck up. For an obvious reason. Separation of duties, asshole. Yes, take your reward. Your eternal reward. Bazap. Weren't you aware? This whole thing that you're gonna do right now is gonna blow up the entire planet. Yes. That wasn't supposed to happen. Interesting. Oh really? Look at that. Virtual titties. I've spent the last twelve hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he your chum? Did she just like virtually kick my ass? Those defenses and destroy the flood, which is why we brought the index to the control center. You mean this? How can she hold that up? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. What the hell does that mean? Grass? You sure that's a good idea? What what happened to it? How dare you? Do what? I have the index. And you can continue to wear that push-up digital bra. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. How do you know that? You don't know that. Forerunners, not architects. That must have been Mass Effect. It didn't work in the past. 
all sentient life. Well, why does it even exist in the first place? Who created this shit? Who created this shit? Who created this shit? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. Of course. Same thing with Mass Effect. They had a whole... They had a ship that, you know, like a giant creature that they could power it with biomass. Why, why is that a thing in games lately? It even happened in... Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your queries, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. Well, it's because you're not biomass. Of course, you don't give a shit. Get us out of here. Get me out of here. What, you want me to download my girlfriend into your ass? Who you t Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's what I'm gonna call it a day.